So hello everyone, join me in another video where switching up the lighting. Oh, what is this guy? Okay. Well, um, happy birthday to Mr. GCC, the one and only, you know. Uh, maybe under your hoodies you can actually see your face because. Well, maybe we should get better lighting in here. Whoa, my gosh. That's exactly what we are planning to do today. So, it's one of the nice gifts. Um, it sounds got me some lights to put up in the garage. So, it's not going to replace these, uh, it's going to be in addition to these. Um, do you want to tell us more about it? So, we have the Cosmic 2.2 Zero. Um, these are the fastest LED tube lights you can find. They're approximately 255 miles per hour, top speed. Oh. Um, they are produced by Berina, uh, the T5 uh, variant. A lot of people look at the uh, T8. Uh, integrated fixture, so you can't replace the LEDs once they're dead. But um, they're meant to be very good because uh, Mr. GCC behind the camera was dying over these. He's like, oh my god, I want to get 20 of them. He's like, oh. But um, yeah. well, listen. Basically, they're meant to be really bright. Yep. And one thing I'll say is, is you can never have enough lighting. And these lights work fine in terms of actually being able to see in the garage. But when you're when you have a car here, that side of the garage just becomes really dark, and it's really yeah. annoying. So we're gonna change this up now. Got the chair out. Let's get it opened. Oh. You know what? You know how you said this this blade is very blunt. Yeah, you realize. I I. I definitely agree considering it, um, you can't even... That's also to get the Dremel out. Okay, it's not that extra, but... Ooh. Okay, so that's the length of everything. So the lighting fixtures themselves are 4-4 four four, and they come with some light switch adapters, hard wiring adapters, as well as daisy chain adapters. So you can daisy chain the lights all together. Ah, oh, that's annoying. It's yeah. one of those connectors where basically uh, it's American, American Europe. Huh. Luckily, I have Berina one upstairs. From, I think Berina is from America, though. Is it? Yeah, because all the Americans. But then, if they're selling it in the UK, they should be prepared to. Ah, oh, never mind. Yeah. Oh, okay. It's not even like one of them was. I know. The wrong connectors, all of them. Right. Okay. So this is kind of the main bit that we're gonna be worrying about, which is the length between one light to the other, because we don't want them all too close to each other, but at the same time. You know what? Yeah, they're a lot longer than in YouTube. Yeah. In the YouTube, they look a lot everyone. Uh, so no, everyone on the YouTube videos, their one was only up to here. Oh, I don't know which videos you seen then. I was, I was, I was watching loads. They're all really short. Okay, now. These ones are also, they, they look kind of this long. Yeah. And these ones, ah, that's it. People, a lot of people, the ones that I've seen, they tie them up um, to shorten it, but yeah. we don't want to do that. Let's look at the lights. The only thing I've seen people complain about is saying that the actual feel and quality of them is cheap, but they go, they've lasted for like nine months from it's what they've tested. It's, it's one of those where, look at how much you're actually spending on them. Yeah, I think there was 60 pounds for eight of them. 60 pounds for eight. Yeah. And considering I think these four that we've had installed previously. It's about eight pound each. Yeah, and I think the installation cost for them to get all the wiring done and everything was an extra hundred and something pounds. So yeah, this you can do on your own, not worry about things. Hopefully I don't drop it and break them all. Um, so yeah, we'll unwrap all of these now and we'll We'll kind of plan what we're actually going to do, where we're going to put them, and then we'll catch up with you guys in a bit. So what's the, uh, the, the plan of action? At the moment, we're just testing. We're di oh, there it goes. There it goes. There it goes. Great English. Um, yeah, amazing English. Amazing so now, English. Things. Yeah. <laughs> amazing English. So what I'm planning to do now is just going to test, fit some of these in. Because we got access to the wooden beams, it's kind of... A little bit stress-free because we can just drill in and if it doesn't work in a certain area, we can just drill it out, go somewhere else. It doesn't exactly affect the final look too much. Um, and yeah, we're just going to kind of test to see where this fits nicely. Well, the one issue is at the moment is where the plug is over here. These beams are all a different angle. Don't ask why. Um, 
it was built a long time ago and I can't remember the proper explanation for it so I'm not going to make one up um, but the annoying thing is is if we do try to bring it to where it does level out uh, I think it's quite far away from the plug socket over here which is the one that I wanted to use so I don't know how we're going to do it just yet but like I said one one of the lights works across these beams these beams up from here it's a bit of a diagonal. it might work across here we're, yeah. we're going to test it and see and I'm guessing you're going to want to record me putting screw up there oh, yeah. because I'm short so it might be funny oh yeah I forgot about that <laughs> I thought well, you weren't thinking about that this entire time no I actually wasn't oh. But. oh wow that's rare you got to that joke in a short time <laughs> wow <laughs> wow I feel like Kevin Howe right now wow okay okay now nah, seriously Actually, wait, which ones did we say we were going to do it against? Was it this one and this one? Yeah. So, this one and that one. Wait, this one and that one? Yeah. No, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, this one and yeah, that yeah. one? Hold on. Should we grab it? This one and this one. You sure? Yeah. We'll find out. They are really light, by the way, so... So, if anyone's interested in what they're actually made of... Yeah, so that's the ones I was saying. The thing is, it might need to sit flush. Nah. The bracket will hold it basically. But yeah, so I was saying uh, if you're interested in what they're actually made of, it legit is all made of just a LED strip on inside of it and the fluorescent tube just to diffuse the light. Um, stepping on a brick. Wow. I knew it. That's not going down. We'll be back after we work out how to make a screw go into wood. No, it's just <laughs> going in a funny angle, so I might drill a pilot hole in or... So I want to do it close to this edge, so then it's actually giving the tube a little bit more flex. But I don't want to try and do it and then mess it up and then it go pierced through on the side or something and then it weakens the wood, so... Yeah. We shall be back. We shall be back. Don't, 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 don't do it! Da ah, you... No, 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 bit too much. Bit more to the to the right. Uh, just disconnect it without actually taking out the screw. A bit, a bit more to the left. A bit more. Yeah. yeah, that's about that. He was getting really OCD that one side was hanging out a lot more than the other. Well, if you're gonna do it, let's do, do it nice, do it. So yeah, we've got the first one on. Um, that's the, basically the hardest one. Uh, now that we've got that one on, we can kind of do the others nice and quick. So, um, time for a time lapse. Wouldn't you agree? I agree. We agree. So time lapse time. <laughs> Thanks, bro. A really, really nice angle of me. <laughs> <laughs> Legit, you look tiny. <laughs> wow, I didn't look at it properly. It looks really short, man. The lights aren't that big. <laughs> wow. no, these are 8 foot lights? Did you not know? <laughs> <laughs> okay, 8 foot lights. Yeah. Yeah. That was a 10 foot fucking holy needle. <laughs>
this is nasty without it on now. <laughs> so what can I say? The lighting in this room right now. Let me let me just show you guys. I'll close the doors to the S2000. So this light right here, this is my main workbench light and it lights up everything really nicely over here. Those lights at the back over there, absolutely amazing. In fact, I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn off my original lights. That's how much lighting I have now. Again, 60 pounds, I would say that is amazing amount of light. You can see me. It's not as good with, with the other lights on as well. That's because I placed everything on the sides. This is plenty of light to actually still work on a car. I got more than enough light to actually work on this car still. Obviously, this area then becomes really dark. If I show you how it looks standing here, that corner of the garage is really nicely well lit up. Now I'm gonna go and switch around the lighting. So we're gonna turn these off and turn the other ones on. Coming back to the same spot and that's how it looks in the garage. It looks so different and it looks a little bit brighter on the camera than it does in person. This area becomes really dark and gloomy. And if I walk over here, you'll actually be able to see how much darker it gets. Yeah, quite a lot. Now, if I just turn on these lights here, Boom. Perfect for working on a car over here. It just means I got all the lighting that I need. I'm gonna turn these lights on here. Amazing. This one we kind of put in just for like an engine bay light. So if we're looking at the engine here. It's not the world's biggest difference of light in there. Had that one spare and we just thought put it there for the time being. And obviously got this light here as well. But I'll leave a review. If someone gives me a comment in about six months time to say how are the lights holding up, I would do an update video or in a year's time, all those kind of things. For now, I hope you all did find this video interesting and a quick little overview into looking at what these lights can be like. I need to sort out the wiring a little bit more just to tuck everything away, but this was something quick. I've got too much going on right now. So I just thought I'd get the video out to you all so you can actually have a quick look at that. I'll see you in the next video. Remember, subscribe if you wanna see more from me. Hit like if you found this video helpful in any way. And um, yeah, leave me a comment if you wanna see anything else in the future. For now, peace out and I'll catch you all later.